Hello YouTube, and um, thank God that's over. <laughs> Sorry, um, but it's been quite hard to um, to have so much on my mind and not make a video. The videos really um, clear up something for me, and they sort of put it put it down, put it out there so in case you didn't notice in the previous videos that I mentioned that um, or made the declaration that I believe I'm the messiah of this generation um, and when I uploaded the video straight away really quick someone left a comment saying um, something like I am reflecting God as God's child God bless you for putting up the video so that in a sense was a blessing and it was good to feel, good to know that I'm doing the right thing in, in stating it so I'm going to call this video um, Jesus isn't the Messiah of this generation as that's what's commonly believed um, sorry I thought of something else I wanted to say and then I've forgotten what it is okay. I can wait I should pause it really, shouldn't I? And just yeah, you'll have to wait. You'll have to wait. So Jesus isn't the Messiah of this generation. And when I talk about Jesus, I'm talking about A. J. Miller as he's been reincarnated in Australia and came back to give us the truth. And there are fourteen other human beings who reincarnated within that spell of time to do a particular with a particular intention in mind and that particular intention was to spread the truth and um, not all of them are still alive most of them are and I think there's still a couple who haven't fully come to terms and realize who they are that they've lived before as so few people have and there may be others who have reincarnated after that who are younger who are here on some other purpose and soon when the world is in a good state um, lots of people will want to reincarnate and have a life on earth because many many of God's children um, didn't get a chance for a life or perhaps had a very hard life as a slave or something so probably quite keen to to do that perhaps I don't know because I haven't been to that level me I'm a new a new soul first real I first had awareness when I was conceived around eight, early April 1976 I was then born in January 1977. Anyway, going off on more tangents. So, <clears throat> so the Jesus, so Jesus, was the Christ in his first life. Uh, God did something to him, took away his soul injuries. He lived a life. Uh, knowing that he was the Messiah, or being told he was, and therefore, if you like, trained, you know, reading the scriptures and things like that, people may have had wrong ideas for him, but he was well aware of it. Um, but when we look at prophecy in the Bible towards the end times, 
although there are places where it kind of intones that Jesus Christ will be the one, I think when it just says Jesus, it's talking about him as somebody else, someone who's brought the truth, and also kind of names him as faithful witness. And there is sort of mentions that there's someone else, and even I think one of the best lines that says it, because this is supposedly Jesus' own words, although if you listen to A.J. Miller, he will say that when he was Jesus, he remembers no intention at all to come back a long time while he was in the spirit world. And it was only quite near the end of his progression, if you like, where he's getting towards soul union, that the thought it might be possible and thought it would be the loving thing to do to come back, spread the truth, not to save everybody. And in a sense, well, I won't go into that. Yet. So in Matthew 24, many will come in my name saying, I am Christ, and will deceive many. Now, most people read that as people come in, in Jesus' name, saying that they're Jesus. And although there have been a few people who've done this, there haven't been what I'd call many. So... But what there are many people doing, in Jesus' name, so making videos as though they're kind of on Jesus' behalf, telling people to worship Jesus and things like that, saying that Jesus is the coming Christ of this generation, and will deceive many. So from that line we can take and say that Many people will be deceived into thinking that, and it's up to your interpretation, but I'd say, it didn't say many will come in my name saying they are Christ, saying they are the Christ, or many will use my name and claim to be me and say they're Christ. Many will come in my name saying I am Christ. So many will be come in Jesus' name saying Jesus Christ, and will deceive many. Right, so i just written here, many today claim Jesus is God, and they also claim Jesus is God, and that's wrong, and they believe that Jesus will just save them all, come in the clouds and save them all. You know that bit where it says, I was just reading it a minute ago actually, and it'll say, you know, don't listen to anyone who says they are the one, um, because when he'll come, he'll come like a flash from west to east. And that could be meaning YouTube. How would you describe YouTube a long time ago? Before if you just saw what was happening. Like then I uploaded the video and bang! Within perhaps under a minute, so seconds, there was a, a reply. It reached somebody, I presume. Or was it? Don't know. Um, so yeah, Jesus was the Christ in his generation. But he's come back as a different purpose this time. I'm noticing Daniel 9.25, it refers to these end times. And refers to whoever it is as being God's chosen leader. Revelations 19.12. Now this is talking about the the rider on the white horse. And this is the, the reference that, you know, hair white as wool and eyes like fire and um, brass feet, I think. And it, anyway, he will have a new name that only he knows. So that's also interesting. 
Jesus called the faithful witness and if you like the 2016 Messiah called faithful and true now there's also the mention of the son of man when he'll be revealed um, and so me making this video isn't necessarily him being revealed because surely the masses have to listen to it first and my YouTube videos get very few views and I'm not going to share these ones on Facebook with the people I know they have to kind of come and find it if they want to watch it um so I don't lose the point then YouTube what I call them YouTube Oh yeah, seeing as hardly anyone views them is hardly a, a revealing. And and that is supposed to happen after a big earthquake. And I mean, I haven't really gone in too much to prophecies, but I just thought, after having this feeling, I thought, well, I'll check out the prophecies, because if there's anything in there that resonates with me, then I'll know. And, um, and then we've got Revelation 5. Okay, I'm going from this Rainbow Kids version Bible. Um, I've read the whole King Arthur one, King Arthur, one, King James. I read all of that. That's the one I read cover to cover. But I've got this for Christmas, and I like. I just like the the way they just put it into English, and I've checked it against the the um, King James, and it doesn't seem to deteriorate. You know. And what I've checked anyway, and it just seems to put it quite plainly and simply. It's quite cool. So, Revelation 5 I saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who sits on the throne. Now, if we look a bit before, this does tend to look like Jesus, and um, it's God's throne, but God doesn't sit on his own throne. I don't. This is, what I'm, this is my feeling, and this is a book, it's just writing, okay, so we're just doing a bit of this. But God, God, God doesn't have a physical or spiritual body anymore. God, if God had one once upon a time, that, that's ancient history now. He's been, he, she, been this unified soul for don't know how long, but created the universe for us to experience so he's not going to come down and play as such although perhaps the, the way I've done a video about we're all being in Mother God, Father God does have these how he interferes <laughs> anyway so God wouldn't sit on his own throne so I saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who sits on the throne. So let's just say that's Jesus. It was covered with writing on both sides and was sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel who announced in a loud voice, Who is worthy to break the seals and open the scroll? But there was no one in heaven or on earth or in the world below who could open the scroll and look inside it. I cried bitterly because no one could be found who is worthy to open the scroll or look inside it. Then one of the elders said to me, Don't cry, look. They haven't even said what the scroll is, have they? The lion from Judah's tribe, the great descendant of David, has won the victory, and he can break the seven seals and open the scroll. Then I saw a lamb standing in the centre of the throne, Surrounded by the four living creatures and the elders, the lamb appeared to have been killed. It had seven horns and seven eyes. Right. Now, I'll tell you just straight away. One of the most amazing things in my life was when I was 19 and I went to Africa. I went to Uganda and I kind of nearly got myself killed. And... <sighs> Sometimes I could look back to that point and I think, did I die then and the rest of my life has just been an illusion that I've created? 
But then recently I thought, with that word, killed, it was almost as if I was put up to be killed. So I was killed. And the seven horns and seven eyes, well, I was born in 77, and the 7-7 seven, seven thing has always just resonated with me which are the seven spirits of God that have been sent throughout the whole earth. I don't know about that. The Lamb went, it could maybe have something, if what God did to Jesus was done to me at 18 months, that could refer to that. The Lamb went and took the scroll from the right hand of the one who sits on the throne. And also I believe I did meet A.J. Miller. Um, he hasn't, re-email to confirm it but judging on what he teaches I decided to he didn't say no, he hasn't said he hasn't replied right so I've just decided to feel it and I feel like it was him and I've since doing that I've remembered more of what happened then because I had hardly any memory of it, hardly anything but gradually I, I like just come to terms with it a little while ago that I remember a time him crying and finding it pretty weird at the time. And I also think it's possible that I sparked off for him the memories of being Jesus because I, if you like, although unaware of it, I've had something done to me. So it puts me, makes me different, maybe reminded him of, of his life. And I'll just say to you now, far from being told, my grandma, I do remember my grandma saying some things to me. And there's some weird sort of family history I've got with my Uncle Paul. Very know very little about what's gone on there. Um, to be honest, my dad kind of dogged me most of my life. And when he died, and it was at his funeral and the party afterwards that I kind of got this born again. Anyway, off the point. So, so if you like, so when I met him in this mud hut in Africa, and I knew there was a purpose for going there, and sort of all the time up until now, I haven't really understood fully what it was. But one night I smoked a massive joint, and as I was going off to sleep, I went through these visions and saw this vision of something like a triangle and it shapes whirly things and it happened two times in a row, twice and I went to sleep and when I woke up in the morning I could remember every single dream the whole night to the thoughts I had before I went to sleep and what so the, what that did to me, so then when I was returning from Africa I, I remember my dad's cousin's house in Nairobi, he was quite a wealthy guy and that's where I started out but went off to Uganda and I got this eerie feeling, I looked up there was a skylight, I could see the, I think it was Orion, that's the feeling I got and I was there, this little fear of Orion and this eerie feeling when I got back to England and these eerie feelings started that I've never been able to make sense of. And as he did those so, the four living creatures and twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, each had a harp and gold bowls filled with incense, which are the prayers of God's people. They sang a new song, You are worthy to take the scroll and to break open its seals, for you were killed, and by your sacrificial death you bought for God. Now that would all seem to indicate to Jesus, wouldn't it? It would. I would agree with that. I'll continue. People from every tribe, language, nation and race, you have made them a kingdom of priests, serve God, and they shall rule on earth. Again I looked and I heard the angels, thousands and millions of them. They stood round the throne, four living creatures and the elders, and sang in a loud voice, The Lamb who was killed who is worthy to receive power, wealth, wisdom and strength, honour, glory and praise. So, I mean, but then it says, you see, if that was Jesus, why did they say there was no one in heaven or earth? Because, um, if we go back before... They too talk about this throne, and his face gleamed like such precious stones as jasper and chameleon, and all round the throne there was a rainbow, the colour of an emerald. 
This was the one stand sitting in the throne. Maybe that's supposed to be God. Okay, well, let me let me carry on because this the seals bit. So, I'd like to say maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. To him who sits on the throne to learn. Blah, 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 blah. Then I saw the lamb broke open the first of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures saying, "Right." So I came back from Africa in like December nineteen ninety six. In January nineteen ninety seven, I started to get this eerie feeling, and I kind of remember a beigey colour, maybe like that, and. Over the next, like, 10, 11 months, there were about seven. And I remember, I think, a green or a blue. There was a, the blue sky, I remember, one time. And this eerie feeling. Not a pleasant feeling. And I remember a red, and I think that was in summer. And that, it started to get scary now. And at this point, I'm trying to sort out my life, but not happy too much you know I'm having to work uh, Labour was coming into power Tony Blair Princess Diana died that year wasn't it and then after that I got a black and I remember that and it was associated with black so these things and I, so now I'm thinking what's going to happen what, what's happening to me why am I having this and then November the 30th 1997 that night I was thinking about the stars falling out of the sky and everything and I wasn't thinking about this then, I've only just think, thought about this recently and that night it was white and it scared the shit out of me I panic attack yeah and thought I was going to have a heart attack and uh like I'm in my parents' house, and I went downstairs and I just try and find a book to read. Just downstairs, get my mind on something else. And ever since then, I didn't really know why, but it it always comforted me. And the thing I saw in Africa, I always knew, you know, there was a purpose for me, that a reason. So, when I thought of that. The seals. Is that what I did? And then after the seventh seal is opened, then there's a a quiet in heaven for half an hour. It says, "Yeah." When the lamb broke open the seventh seal, there was a silence in heaven for about half an hour. And then the world started to go a bit shit, didn't it? Twin Towers, stuff like that, and then we're up to ISIS. And the seventh trumpet also involves seven bowls outpouring of God's anger. God, I've gone really far off the point, haven't I? Jesus isn't the Messiah of this generation. I am. Battery's very low. I don't have Lord of Lords or King of Kings written on my arms or my legs. I do have almost white woolly hair, which wasn't a plan. It's just me being natural. I'm just letting it naturally happen. Apparently... People have told me that my hair seems to be growing back. I mean, that would be a miracle, right? You want miracles? The power, the only power I conceive I have is, is with my words. 
I do feel like I can have power with my words. But um, very early stages. So watch this space. Could be interesting. Could be watching me crack up. You know, whatever. I'm up for it. Let's go. So um, yeah. I um I haven't called my. I think this is what I forgot earlier to say. I haven't called my videos here like, you know, I am the messiah, da 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 da, because I just want to sort of let this seep out gradually. And it reminds me, in a sense, of sometimes having felt God's love, how gentle, how gentle it can be um, and um, for someone who's so massively awesomely powerful to be able to be so sensitive 